In this video, we will talk about gait assessment in Parkinson's disease. It can be assessed clinically with scales and tests or through objective assessment tools. One of the clinical specialized tests in Parkinson's disease is the dynamic Parkinson's gait scale, DPAX. The implementation time varies between 10 and 15 minutes. This scale has shown high reliability in the literature. Its validity has been tested with instruments such as the freezing of gait questionnaire, also with the motor part of the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale, and with the gait subpart of the Tinetti test. The DPAX scale evaluates eight items. In each of the eight items, the assessor will have to give a standardized score. It is important to be aware of gait being blocked, that is, if the patient has inability to get his or her foot off the ground. Walking 7 meters forwards. In a 7 meter long corridor, the patient is asked to walk forward spontaneously. We score from 0 to 5 if the patient walks fluently, hesitates at the beginning, suffers blockages, is unable to perform the distance or is unable to start the test. Walking 3 meters backwards. We will walk the 3 meters next to the patient's side to attend a possible loss of balance. This item is scored as the one before, so if there are no hesitations, blocks, or if the patient walks the full distance without losing balance, the score will be zero. Turning 360 degrees towards the right. We ask the patient to do a complete turn on the same place. We evaluate in this test if the patient hesitates at the start, that is if he does, does not start immediately, also the number of steps he or she takes while turning, if he does not complete the turn or if we see a destabilization or if he or she is not able to start the test. Then the same assessment is implemented but turning towards the left. Stepping over an imaginary obstacle with the right leg. We ask the patient to try to step over an imaginary obstacle, as big as he can while walking down the corridor. In this part of the test we must have a tape measure marked on the ground to record the length of the step. To assign a score, we must consider the height of the patient, multiplied by the indices indicated in the table. The longer the step has been, the less score applied. We will repeat the assessment the same way with the left leg. Passing through tight quarters. We place two chairs in the middle of the corridor to create the feeling of a narrow corridor. We observe if the patient can pass through this space fluently or not. The score is applied depending on hesitation during the movement or if patient is unable to pass through the narrow space. The most innovative part of this test is to evaluate gait while carrying out a double cognitive task, thus trying to simulate habitual situations of daily life. The patient walks 7 meters while saying animal names. The score is applied the same as in item 1. The aim is to assess whether the gait is interrupted by the cognitive task. If we perform the whole test, we add the points of each item, being 40 the maximum possible score. In the short version, we ask the patient which side he or she prefers to do the turning test and with which leg he or she prefers to perform the test to step over an imaginary obstacle. Therefore, in the short version, the maximum score will be of 30 points. If we want to assess gait objectively or conduct a study, we can use instrumented assessments such as the follows. Photogrammetry, where we analyze through some frames the position of the segments that participate in gait. Dynamometric platforms, with which we can study the reaction force of the ground and its vertical mediolateral and anteroposterior components and the position of the pressure center in the X and Y axis. 
Instrumented insoles, used to analyze plantar pressures made in each area of the foot, such as the hind foot, the midfoot, forefoot, and toes. Accelerometers, are those that allow us to analyze the acceleration in an axis of the segments in which the sensor is positioned. Thank you for using this educational e-platform.